Air operations are controlled from here. There are four really key people up here with a couple of extras. I'll talk about those later. In charge, the air boss and the mini boss. Navy commanders, 20 years flight experience. Very <laughs> is a good answer in the current one. With the proper GPS system, the navigator can tell where this carrier is within three yards anywhere in the world. The gentleman here mentioned stars. If you go to the other end of the spectrum, that GPS being current technology, the other end is 400 years old and it's celestial navigation. You'll see on the ch chart back here uh, uh, something called a sextant and you'll see a picture of one on this chart here. That's a system whereby people, quartermasters, take sightings. Okay, if we could get the first half of the group on this side of the mast. I'm no longer Docent Bob, I'm Officer of the Deck Bob. What does that mean? In Navy space, that means I have what is called a con. That means I am in control of giving the orders to maneuver or navigate the ship. The person in absolute control of this ship is the commanding officer, who sits in a chair right over here on the fourth side. He can just order his guard, nobody can super and man his orders. He appoints me as officer of the deck for a watch. That's four hours. So unless he sees me doing something or hears me doing something he doesn't like, I'm going to be the person giving the orders to navigate the ship. He can stop me at any time by simply saying, a stand down, Lieutenant Lauer, I have a con. That means he is now in control of the ship. I'm going to be standing here giving orders starboard side of the ship and I'll tell you why it's there and why it's on the starboard side. So, how does all this navigation work? How does it get the ship from point A to point B? Let's use an example. The navigator informs me we're going to change course and for a new course. So he's going to give me instructions. I'm going to pass those instructions on to somebody else. So I'm going to say to the helmsman, that's a seaman, maybe 21 years old.